Hey guys, welcome to Lindsay Adventures. So we're back again for a little episode, but um, we're not going for an adventure today. We're just doing some mods to my old 75. And um, I'm here at Tim's house, and uh, cause he's got all the tools. Lindsay HQ. He's got all, <laughs> he's got all the gear, but he has no idea. But um, so what we're doing today is we've got a light bar to put on and a little brief rack. So I'm gonna put a little brief rack on. A little basket here, a little, not a basket, roof rack, a little flat roof rack, I'm gonna chuck on. And a little light bar as well. So I've just, I've had a wiring harness ready set up. So this is me trialing it out. A light bar, with the harness already. So I'm just gonna chuck that up top here and hook it up. So it's all ready to go. So it's just a matter of just hooking it up. So it's pretty easy. Here's Tim. How are we? It's um, we haven't been together for a while. Mm. Um, he's been a bit slack. It's a good fella. reason, good reason. I keep him um, at a distance. <laughs> so, and another thing we're going to do is I've got some recovery points. <clears throat> so, I've got some uh, these cool bright yellow recovery points to put under it on the front of my car because I haven't really had any recovery points for if I get stuck. It's always, um, it's always like worried me if I got really stuck or something like that. And what else we got, Tim? A few little bits and bobs. I'm not even sure what these are. What are these? Well, that's um, part of the stuff for the roof rack. Oh, yeah. In the box. In this part here, I've got a little bash plate to chuck on as well. Because my 75, the radiator, is very exposed to like rocks and stuff like that. So if you see here, it's really exposed. So that's just going to go over the top of it. So it should look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so what do you want to start first, Tim? Well, I don't know, we'll just um, start trying to bolt things on and see what connects. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, I reckon we'll do the recovery points first because you need to do a ratchet thing. Yeah, get my rudder going. But um, we'll pop them on. I'll have to show them. Oh, I've got another cool little thing too, guys. Um, I've got a cool arc code made up. So I put it on me and Tim's car. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. A little scammy. So, I let him put it on my car. Yeah, so. it was a bit of, took a bit of convincing, but I've done it. And um, so, I got one on the back, and I got two on the front mirrors. So, if you come across my car, free, feel welcome to just go and scan it. And I got one back at Tim's car. So, if you see Tim's car around the Gold Coast or Brisbane, just just come up and um, I have to ask them. Just come up and just say, "Hey, man, I want to scan your scan your channel." <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I just want to scan your little barcode. Though. <laughs> so you're gonna get some more attention, Tim. Come and up it, and it, when you car. scan it, it does actually come up. You know, uh, on the channel, it doesn't come up as like a bag of chips or something. I've actually tried it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it literally comes up to the first video of Fraser Island. So let's try something different. Yeah, hmm. and um, and that way you can see both cars and. Just trying to think of new ways to get more audience out there and whatnot. And I'm going to put them around like old talks and stuff like that as well, little QR codes. And because um, Tim's going over to Bali Thursday. And, on Thursday, so um, I'm going to give him some little stickers. And he's going to put, put them around. Talks and clubs over there. So then I'll have small subscribers coming in, but I'll be like, I probably won't be able to speak English, but um, mm, mm. I'll be able to yeah, see they, what's going on. They, they can use their QR code, they might not understand <laughs> what they're saying. But. Yeah, exactly. Alright guys, so yeah, we're going to get some work done, but um, we thought just a little fun video just to make some content and um, do some new upgrades. Alright, so Tim, what are we doing? Alright mate, so we've got some uh, so recovery started, points here. Let's do a bit of research. Because Lindsay cracks the shits, because every time I pull him out, when he gets bogged, Apparently I bend things on his car because I pull him too hard. So, the idea with this, should be a bit safer for him. <laughs> for when he gets bogged next time. Well, because I haven't really got any amounts in front of my car. See, I've only got like, um, these mounts here. A winch, but they're toe points. And a winch. Then so I've got no real way of getting myself out if I'm pretty badly bogged. If you were to pull I'm... off this little toe point, that'd rip straight off. Yeah, 100%. So this, fit it like that and it should be a bit safer and you know it's just good if you have a full drive to before you go out 
because a lot of times stock standard cars doesn't have recovery points. They have some of them have like tow hooks. Isn't that right, Tim? Tow hooks where you can tow your car up. Yeah, they're just tow points. So you, like that, that's that's just to get winched onto a tow truck. Yeah, that's it. Tow truck or something like that. But yeah, um, legit. if you're actually going to go proper four driving, you have to really importantly get. So what are these rated to? Is it rated to four point seven ton or something? Yeah. I think that's why it's so important to get yourself some um, recovery points. They're expensive. These ones cost me two sixty from uh, Road Safe, but it's a lot safer because you know you can you can make a best four driver but everyone gets stuck or you can break down or something you know so mm. yeah yeah all right well, so we're just gonna, gonna rip these off and um so yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna undo this bolt we're gonna do this shackle undo a few bolts and yeah, yeah. get into That's it what Alrighty, so what we did is we just undid these two bolts up here. Yep. And then now we've just got the new bolts and fitted up and it takes three spaces. To fit it on properly? Yep. So now he's gonna go and put it on. Alright. Never before done. So we just put on the uh, recovery points. They're looking quite nice, quite snug there, Tim. Yeah, come um, up all right. So it'd be cool when I actually snatch him now. It's not gonna rip his whole fucking bumper off. Yeah, exactly. So we made it safe. And now we're just gonna put our, our red little bash plate on. It should be pretty easy. Yeah. Um, a few little basic mods, but you know, like they're quite important mods, you know? Put a few bits of bling on the old dog. Yeah. Red, yellow, and then there's some black lights too. And all right, Tim, where's the screws, mate? A little roof rack and yeah. Fucking, if we don't run out of it. If we get that far. And if I want to give up and I um it's not gonna work. A little Linzo. Getting a little bash plate on, eh? Yeah, bash plate on, but it's not lining up, Tim. Probably should put the front ones on first. Oh. It's a bit shit, isn't it? Performance issues, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a few times, eh? Can you do what you did before? Big Daddy's gonna come to the rescue again. So we've done that, put a little bash plate on. A little red boy, pretty cool. Got our recovery points, a little red bash plate, just to protect the radiator. And now, a little roof rack. All right, let's do it. Well, this is our stage three of Lindsay's Adventures. We're about to put the little roof rack on and uh see how easy this is gonna be it looks pretty easy but you know these things sometimes aren't so what we're gonna do mate what's the plan so we're gonna bolt some shit up so we got this and i, I reckon we're gonna drill a hole in the roof um yeah i suppose we could have like a little um because we don't actually have to drill a hole in the roof but i did have to for my car and i feel like we should just do it to this car even though we don't have to i mean people pay big money for some roofs these days mm. so mm. we definitely could we got a recipo grinder. grinder absolutely yeah we can, um, we can just, we can start off with like 
a meter wide hole. But how are we going to fill the hole in? And then if we what have we to do? make it smaller, then we'll just buy a new roof. Yeah, well, so it's I, all it's, like I'm not paying for it, so I don't mind. I mean, I can quite honestly just unbolt it. There's a few mm. bolts mm. on the seventy five, so we can do, yeah. just do that. Because at the end of the day, if we put a big hole in your car, I still not one of mine, so it's fine. Yeah, I, I guess he's onto something there, isn't he? <laughs> So um, what we're going to do is do this, side rails like this, and then clip it on, and then hopefully by plan, we can just bolt it up, and then put the light bar on. So you guys, anyone can do this at home, we just need a little brother who has all the tools, because uh, I'm, I'm alright with mechanical sort of stuff, but um, I just need a bit of guidance sometimes, and, you know, so, yeah, alright Tim, let's do it mate. So where do we start? Well, you're taking the lead here, mate. Look at these little dogs. So they go together like that, right? Yeah. That's how but that's how do I bolt onto the roof rack? So that's how that sits. Fucking beautifully. Yeah. So we get a little bolt for that, little dog. Let me find out which little bolt goes through here for that dog. Yeah, alright. So we got a whole bag of bolts. Yep. What are these rubbers for? Hey? These little rubbers. Oh, are they for... Maybe so you don't scratch your car up when you... Oh, there we go. I think that goes there. Oh, that's what they're for. And oh. that goes like that. Oh, look at that, eh? Oh, there look. we go. We definitely don't have to drill a hole in the roof, but I still think we should. Well, look, I'm, I'm going to go without the hole in the roof. Because, um... If we have to... We will. Let's just do it a last main priority, <laughs> like a last, a last, a last decision. If it doesn't work. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get to it. We'll fit them all up. Yep. I'll do one. You do one. Yep. We'll do one for one. Yep. That sounds good. That's it. There we go, Tim. Well, it was a struggle. It was a nightmare. We, we got there. Well, we got there. It's even longer because I couldn't really help because I got a bad shoulder. Mm, but we, work. we done well, so, right? Yeah. Old Lindsay was the one actually got it. So we got the uh, the roof rack up. If you can see, I'll turn on the light. Oh, it's not hooked up properly, but um, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> put a light bar it up was top. Working. It was working. Got a light bar up top. I've got to hook up some wires properly. Ready to put it back on? Dodge your plug. Put it back on? Yeah. Oh. That's what we got to do around here. There, there we go. go. Sweet. Mate. Look at that. Look at that. Light bar. Looks oh, mint now. I'm a dewatering on an electrician. <laughs> So um, yeah, we've done that. We put the uh, recovery points on the bash plate. We ran out a bit of time. It was we had a bit of drama with the uh, with the bash, not the bash plate, the roof rack. It was like a, a million different a million different screws. Oh, as you'll see, I've filmed the whole thing on all back to front. All yeah, right, man. <laughs> we put it all on and back to front and back on again, and oh, crazy. But um, yeah, so um, we've got a few little things, so if you see us around, make sure you scan on and check out the YouTube channel, but um, otherwise, um, I'm going to a bit of a full drive adventure in a couple of weeks, and yeah, like, we're just busy, so we try to post, but, you know. Still live normal lives, so. Yeah, we don't get, we don't get paid for it, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, we'll probably be doing a little full drive trip with Tim soon, but um, when he gets his stuff sorted out. Hmm. And um, yeah. Going to Bali in two weeks, so. Hmm, that'd be fun. Yeah. And then after that, we'll probably get more into uh, doing trips and things and getting back into it. So. Mm. 
exactly. Yeah. So where should we go next? You guys tell us. So somewhere around the Brisbane area, like oh Goldie, oh Goldie. So we've been to, we've been to Stradbroke Island, maybe even somewhere Fraser. down south. Yeah, Coffs Harbour. Mm. Mm. Pretty crazy tracks down there, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, anyway, subscribe and like, and subscribe to Lindsay Adventures. What do you reckon? See you later on the next episode of Timbo's Adventures. What was that? <laughs> Timbo's Adventures? Timbo's Adventures. Ah, oh, yeah, I'll get it mixed up. Ciao.